Do you want to know which is my best cryptocurrency exchange? Find out just after this. Welcome guys to another video. As I mentioned, let's get into actually finding out what's my best cryptocurrency in exchange. Now, if you're watching me for the first time on this channel, my name is David Pinto. They also call me Tips with Dave. And I'm excited to bring out content like this to you guys because I see that it definitely 100% brings value uh, because there are many people out there looking for kind of these cryptocurrency uh, videos. Now, I know, I also know for a fact that if you don't know what this channel is about, it's basically to teach you three, two skill sets, okay? Three times a week, literally three times a week, every Monday, Friday, and Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I should have said that, uh, <laughs> is when I bring out content with related to two marketing, uh, two skill sets. One is marketing and the second one is trading. And today's video is specifically going to be about trading. Now, one of the things that I struggle with uh, when I got into this whole cryptocurrency space is understanding exactly what I need to do. Uh, having that fear of, of, should I actually send money here? How do I start trading? Uh, does it make sense to have an exchange? You know, all these ideas were coming to my head and I really didn't know. Uh, whether I could trust the system or not. So a lot of people are skeptical in the beginning when it comes to cryptocurrency. I want to kind of break that down with this channel and show you guys simple strategies that, are, that can work for you, but also tools and methods that you can use when it comes to, uh, when it comes to trading cryptocurrency. So if you're not familiar with trading, if you don't know how to do things, well, what I want to do is before I get into my presentation and share with you a little bit more about the content, Obviously, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you get updates on the videos that I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, okay? But you can also get this free training as you can see right here, okay? And the free training will go into, two, it will basically take you into the path of having two main skill sets. One is tra um, trading and the other one is marketing. And you can choose. If, this is, if you're interested in trading, just jump to the trading side and start to generate uh, actual uh, you know, strategies, which I teach you guys in my group through, um, through the trading. Now I am definitely, I want to mention this right in the beginning. I am not a professional trader. I learn from them. I'm sharing, educating you and sharing you knowledge on this channel as well as in the training. And, uh, it does depend on you, whether you take the action. I cannot, I don't know you. I don't know whether you're going to take action on the strategies to actually make this work for you full-time or not okay but trading is definitely 100% a possibility for you to go ahead and you know build okay that being said let's get into actually one of some of the reasons what is uh, why or four exact tips I'm gonna share with you before you actually go and you know look at my best exchange and and see what it does for me and so on and so forth I want to share with you four tips when you're researching or rather looking for what to do with an exchange, which exchange? Because there are so many cryptocurrency exchanges out, out there, guys, and they come up every night. People try to, you know, make new ones and you get lost and say, maybe in my country, I need this. No, maybe in my country, I need this. So I know that there's a little bit of confusion in what to do and, uh, you know, when to do it. So that's what I want to share with you, how I do my research in terms of exchange. I personally will share with you my best exchange and other, other cryptocurrency exchanges that you can utilize to start your trading journey or even just to get familiar okay ultimately if you're taking a step forward and you want to get familiar with the, with the trading the first step is to have an exchange okay so let's go ahead and actually look at it i'm going to share present to you right now on my screen so i should be up i'm going to take my uh, video out because you know actually let, let's keep my video on this time uh while i talk to you guys okay so we're going for we're going to talk about four tips before I share with you my best exchange, so stay tuned for that because I really want to talk to you about why it's my best exchange and whether you, it would be useful for you or not. Now, comment below also if you have an exchange that is preferable for yourself, okay, that you are already using. It's always good to share in the community and I want the YouTube uh, videos as well to be a sharing of that information. So four tips with my best exchange, okay? How do I find that best exchange? Uh, let's go ahead and look at it. One is doing your research, guys. Okay. Tip number one is doing your research. Uh, many people will tell you this, but let me express how important doing your research is. 
what do I mean by doing your research? Uh, what are the cryptocurrency exchanges that are available in my country? Okay, X country. Uh, are there any, what are the best international cryptocurrencies out there? There are many blog posts, there are many videos that will give you actually an idea of what kind of, um, what kind of um, cryptocurrency exchanges are there in your specific region. Now, I don't know uh, where you're watching this video from, so I highly suggest to make sure that you're looking into uh, these details on your own. Do your due diligence, check them out. Are they credible? Okay, do your research on them, okay? And if you find, like for example, if you find out that you don't know the owners, if you find out that there's some kind of things that are, are missing that are bringing out red flags for you, move on. Don't dwell on those things, move on, okay? Seriously, move on. Because it's highly risky of you to go in and actually deposit funds in those kind of exchanges. Where in the past, for example, I have you know signed up for a couple of exchanges that have just closed down in, in two years. Uh, and it's happened to me and that's why I'm saying, do your research well, okay? It's the first point. Uh, the second thing is related to this coin right here, which is related to cryptocurrency, but actually it's related to Bitcoin as well as US dollar tether. Now, US dollar tether is basically the equivalent of a cryptocurrency, but the US uh, equivalent, USD, so US dollar equivalent of it in uh, a token, okay? So the second point, second tip that I'm going to say is, do, does the exchange have the right amount of volume on the BDC market and the USDT market to be trading? Okay, this is primarily something that shows you the volume of people purchasing and uh, and uh, buying and selling cryptocurrency on the exchange. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is that for a couple of reasons, okay? Uh, let me just actually uh, stop my video for a second, guys, because I can see that, you know, the screen is not showing fully. Yeah. So there are a couple of reasons why I'm saying this, okay? Uh, one is the all right amount of BTC and USD show two things. They show the volume of people frequently on the exchange trading actively and earning from that, okay? So there are people who are actively earning from the exchange. Secondly, uh, when these two markets dominate, there is a high fluctuation that allows you to trade better. Okay, just that's the reality of it. The third thing is that when there's a high volume, and that means there's a high volume of entry and exit of those uh, specific markets, that means that the company also, and this is just my hypothesis behind it, okay? This is my opinion. Like I said, please do your due, due diligence, okay? But the reason behind it is that I look at what, what it dominates, um because the dominant when it dominates more than other exchanges i know that it's better to trade there it does affect the trades you have ultimately when implementing strategies okay really when implementing your strategies the volume of trades that are happening on these two markets are prime primary because for example now you can and i'm not saying that the other coins or other markets that are not valuable to trade in yes you can uh but I'm mentioning these two as the main big whales, okay? Big opportunities that are there to earn with trading. So making sure that it exists is good. The last thing that with regards to point number two is specifically when you have a volume in and out of the company, they also have a good financial structure behind it in order for them to uh, manage those kind of volumes of trading that happens on their website, okay? That means they've gone through the ups and downs, they've gone through the hiccups, and they're still uh, working well as an exchange. And I want an exchange that I can rely on rather than you know worry about. So that's the added feature to understanding a high volume of trading of BDC as well as USDT market. These are the two ones. So US market, basically US market and BDC market, okay? Let's go on to uh, the next slide, which is point number three. I'm gonna put my video back on, guys, because I really want you guys to see me. So let's just make my video a little bit bigger. Yeah, so point number three is super important. It's related to the research uh, side, but are the owners transparent and forward thinking? Now, the, the reason why this is a tip for me is that um, over the past few years, when I've joined exchanges that uh, have not had owners which are transparent. I can see that they lag 
they don't work that well and ultimately there is no way forward because this kind of this this industry is changing and growing and it's at the end of the day cryptocurrency is also related to a technology like it's connected to a technology which is a blockchain and so if the owners are not transparent enough to be with you to tell you what they're looking in to be participating in the forward thinking of creating new technology with the exchange then they're gonna they're gonna get stuck behind and you don't want the exchange to get stuck behind you actually want them to contribute to your success to your trading to your journey right so look at the owners if they're um, if they're forward thinking or not. That's the third point. Tip number four is does this is a, a personal uh, personal favorite of mine. Does your exchange save you time? Does it save me time? Ask yourself this question. Will this exchange that I am choosing um, save me time? What does that even mean? Okay. Now, I have traded a lot on two main exchanges. One of them I'm gonna share with you guys today in this video, but the other one is a US-based uh, exchange and I have been there and it does not save me time. It took, it was more complicated, not really complicated, but it just was slower to get my trades in and out and it did not save me time at all. It took me actually quite a bit of time. I had to have multiple things open in order for me to, to trade properly and so on and so forth. And it actually ended up spending more time uh, and not saving me time. And unfortunately, I'm not saying rush into any trades. I'm not saying have like, you know, a specific um, time frame that you need to trade. But when you do trade, if you're if it's not say spend it's not helping you with your trading skill to grow then what's the point? It's not saving you time. It's actually making you slower with your trades than quicker with your trades and smarter with your trades. Okay. So does it save me time? This is a question I ask myself often. Okay. If not, can I integrate it with a tool that does save me time? So I'm not saying eliminate the exchange completely because if it has the other points and it's a reliable exchange and you can see that it's worth it, then utilize it as a wallet and a possibility if it does. And this is related to the previous point. If the owners are forward thinking, then they do have the technology where they can integrate the tool. Uh, they can integrate it with another tool. Okay. Now I'm going to share with you guys my best exchange and show you how it has all these points right here. Okay. So Binance by far is the best exchange in the world but it's also my favorite exchange that I personally use. And I'm gonna show you guys on Binance why it's my favorite exchange. So we're gonna look at Binance specifically on why Binance is my favorite exchange and uh, my best exchange that I'm using. And I'm gonna show you also this point right here, tip four we're gonna look into and also tip three very specifically with Binance, okay? So let's uh, jump into it. Uh, let's go on to Binance right here just to show you guys. It's very simple. You can go to Binance.com. Um, very well-known site. And just to show you guys, I'm going to go to Alexa ranking just to see if it actually, I, I'm doing this for the first time uh, to see whether it actually makes sense uh, because I haven't really checked about what number Binance is, but if I put Binance.com, uh, let's run analysis and see what number the site is, okay? Uh, I just wanna see the rank. This rank is 1000 and this is the global rank, which is quite good, right? Quite good to have for a cryptocurrency exchange. Now, uh, it's quite good. And it's got quite good opportunities that too. Anyway. That being said, uh, let's going to Binance. This is just just a bypass of the video. Okay, they this is the literally, and when I say that they were leading exchange, they are the world leading cryptocurrency exchange. Now they do have a U.S. version of the website, and uh, as well, and you can register on that if you're a U.S. member. But what I wanted to share with you specifically is Binance and the features. Okay, so first and foremost, they have the exchange itself. Okay largest exchange in the world has a great volume on the markets okay and the exchange has an academy has a charity has info about the the trading platform itself about cryptocurrencies it has a lab for, for projects has a launch pad for a token has research base has a trust wallet i mean these 
show you the development of this company over the last few years okay it does have a possibility to buy cryptocurrency as well from fiat they have an exchange which is basic uh, i'm going to show you guys the basic for a second it's just a very basic exchange now i'm remember i'm not in uh, logged in or anything so this is just on binance itself and you guys can see uh, even if i go to coin market cap okay, it is another tip marketcap.com okay this is a comparison website basically which has great volumes now if i go to exchanges okay top currencies and now we're going to go to look at exchanges uh, and let's see the exchanges top 100 adjusted volume okay just to show you guys and we'll also look at the other one, which is reported volume, if I'm not mistaken. But let's check that out, okay? So adjusted volume, you have BKX as the top uh, exchange and Binance is number six, okay? Number six. Now, if I go by reported volume, what happens? BitMEX, which is quite a good exchange as well, is on the first place, okay? and Binance is on the eighth place. But getting started, remember these are very top end traders. So this is a, these are trading platforms that you would be trading if you are a high end trader. I'm talking about just getting started, okay? So this, you can see Binance is not on the eighth. Now, if I look at by liquidity, this is another one which is gonna be interesting. You'll see, uh, you, this is a part of the research part, okay? You can utilize CoinMarketCap as part of your research if you wanna check them out you'll see Binance is third. <laughs> Liquidity of uh, the platform is third. And you can see how much, okay? This is a 24 hour liquidity ratio, okay? This is liquid, the volume in 24 hours. You can count that. I'm not gonna mention that number to you, but you guys can see it, okay? It's launched three years, two years ago, almost, yeah, two and a half years ago. Amazing platform to be on. Binance is one of those that I really suggest to take a look at. Okay. Now, when we go into Binance, you can see uh, this is the basic trader, which is quite good. You can check out that they have many coins over here, over 100 coins. But if you go to advanced, this is why, uh, regarding the second and the third point, they're quite advanced in their thinking because it allows it to be easier to, it allows it. Uh, to help the trader when you're trading so you can add different features to your account so for example this is the original but if you go to trading view okay you can add a little bit of, of other features here so if i go to technical indicators and i want to add for example bollinger bands okay i can add bollinger bands okay now i can edit these bollinger bands to whatever i would like and if I have a specific strategy that I'm using, okay, I can change these moving averages and add, for example, RSI, relative strength index, okay? Now I have the volume of the coin here, I have the relative strength index here, which I can keep a track of. I can change to the different times. And this just helps me understand the charts better and it helps me also say, oh, I can trade on this pretty easily, okay? So there are quite a few things that you can add here. Another thing that's interesting is that if you have this symbol right here clicked, okay, when you logged in, you can even put resistance lines. Now, what are resistance lines are basically when you see where you want, you find an entry point and exit point, depending on the trend of a coin, okay? I know I might be talking a little bit extra, but what I wanna try to say is that if you have some knowledge, these are advantages and tools that come into place. If you don't have the knowledge, then just look at the basics, you know, see what you, you want to learn a strategy. So go to my training uh, right here in tip, on, tip, on the link below, okay? And the training will show you the basics and tell you also what to look for when, you're, uh, when you start trading, okay? And that will tell you, oh, Binance is a good one because I can do X, Y, Z on it, okay? The other interesting thing is they have these features right here. You can do margin trading. You can you have your stop limit, so you don't need to be you know on the computer 24/7 to be trading. You can do a limit buy or market buy, which is also quite cool to have, and so on and so forth. So the advanced trader itself is quite good. Now, personally, I don't really use 
Binance to trade daily. It's my favorite exchange. It's my best exchange. And if I want, I could use Binance. But I personally, if I go back to this last uh, point and talk about the transparent and forward thinking and also the fourth point is that this is that tool that I can use to save me even more time because there is time saved here, but I can save much more time if I use other tools. So there is another tool that I personally use, which is called three commas. Okay. And three commas, if you can see right here, if I go to my exchanges, you will see that I have integrated Binance with my exchange. And all I need is an API key. So with Binance, if I go to the main, uh, the main page and I just uh, maybe search on the website, I think, I don't know whether I can find it directly here. Yeah. So you can see about, you can see all the things that they're doing, but you have API documentation here. And API documentation is basically uh, Binance letting you use their technology and letting you integrate with them. So now I don't fund, uh, I don't use funds on um, on three commas. It's just a tool, but it's integrated with my Binance. So every single trade that I make here gets traded on Binance. And I don't have to log into Binance every single time. I can utilize this tool to trade there. So now if you think about it, that is very forward thinking and it does save me a lot of time because this tool is meant to save me time. I can create bots, trading bots for myself and add those trading bots which have give generated me you know, uh, a positive return. I can have uh, smart trade options. I can have different triggers that are selling in and selling out. I don't have to be fixed onto the computer. This is saving me, this tool is saving me so much time. And the beauty is that it can be easily and integrated with uh, Binance and the owner of Binance and three commas are good friends as well. So you see, they, I mean, they, they know each other. So you see very much the, the point of them trying to help also the people who are trading. Okay. Those are my specific points on why personally I love Binance as a cryptocurrency exchange. And it, please let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite cryptocurrency exchange? I look forward to you know making more of these videos. I hope this one was helpful to give you the points on what could be the best option for you if you are trading uh, and you or you want to get started trading. This is uh, you know what some of the tips that I personally want to share. As you guys can see, I've not shared any specific numbers with you, but if you want to learn strategies with regards to training for free, click in the link in the description of this video. It should be the first link in the description and sign up so you can get into my group and have uh, those uh, not only strategies, but knowledge that I'm sharing in my group shared with you for free. And then go ahead and take it forward because when you have the skill sets that you desire, you start to pave the way for your dreams to come true. Have a great day, guys, and I'm gonna see you guys on the next video.